Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the best wireless gaming mice in the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these wireless gaming mice, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which mouse are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Logitech G305 – Best Budget Mouse The G305 is a no-nonsense product in the sense that it doesn't have any LEDs or weird design elements. It's a simple egg-shaped mouse with a grey silver Logitech logo towards the back of the unit. Logitech has already produced a variety of wireless mice, ranging from the pretty good to the truly exceptional. The Logitech G305 is right in the middle of the pack. It's not quite ambitious enough to cover uncharted ground, but more than a match for the everyday trials and tribulations of PC gaming and productivity. The mouse measures about 4.5 by 2.5 inches and stands only 1.5 inches tall. The mouse works with both palm and claw grip players, and at only 3.4 ounces, it's one of the lighter full-sized wireless mice out there. The G305 uses Logitech's proprietary Hero sensor, which has the same performance as their lauded 3366 unit, but delivers these performances at 10 times the efficiency, making it ideal to put in wireless mice. Almost everything about the G305 is superb, but the shape is somewhat polarizing. It's not the most comfortable mouse out there, and it's also pretty small, ruling out most people with large hands, certainly if you're a palm gripper. And some people can't even use the G305 due to the way the sides are shaped. Number 4. Glorious Model O Wireless – The Most Reliable The Glorious Model O Wireless is an excellent ultralight gaming mouse. It's a wireless version of the Glorious Model O and it remains very light despite having a battery built in. It has a different sensor compared to the wired variant and the new Glorious BAMF sensor has a wider CPI range than you can adjust in smaller increments. The nearly ambidextrous shape of the wired Model O has been retained here complete with that version's honeycomb design on the top and bottom of the shell. Performance is impressive when using tools like 3D Aim Trainer, but the Model O wireless doesn't just excel when I fire up benchmarks. Actual gameplay is just as strong. I find that playing as a counter-terrorist in Counter-Strike Global Offensive is one of the best ways to test out comfort with a new mouse. The Glorious Core software offers great features, but it's only available on Windows. You can customize any of the mouse's settings, including the RGB lighting. If you're in the market for an affordable wireless gaming mouse with an ultra-light weight, then the Model O Wireless should be at the top of your list. It's significantly cheaper than many of its rivals while still delivering what it promises. It's also nearly ambidextrous, which makes it suitable for most grips. Number 3. Logitech G Pro X Super Light – Best Lightweight Mouse the Logitech G Pro X Superlight is an excellent gaming mouse, versatile enough for office use. Even though it doesn't have a honeycomb design, it's still among the lightest mice we've ever tested, which is especially impressive considering it's wireless. It offers amazing performance whether used wired or wirelessly, with a very low click latency and a high polling rate, and its CPI can be customized precisely by increments of 50. All of its buttons can be reprogrammed, and you can also set a G-Shift button to give you a second layer of controls, but this may not be enough buttons for some MMO players. The G Pro X Superlight uses Logitech's G-Hub software. With that app, you can see the approximate length of time remaining before the mouse will need to be recharged and how much energy it's currently drawing. Unlike many other companies, Logitech represents this charge level with an actual percentage rather than an ambiguous battery icon that offers very little information. Logitech took one of the best mice in the market and made it more appealing to people who want the lightest, most responsive mouse possible. Essentially, anyone who's been waiting for a lighter take on the G Pro Wireless will find what they want in the Super Light. Number 2. Razer Death Adder V2 Pro – Best Runner-Up Moving on, we have the Death Adder V2 Pro. The design of gaming hardware tends to trend towards excess. We're seeing more buttons and more RGB lights housed within a shell that's all harsh plastic edges. For years, it felt like to truly justify a mouse or keyboard as a gaming device, it had to look far divorced from a tool of productivity. But recently, gaming hardware manufacturers are taking a step back, realizing that what really matters in the best gaming mouse is the performance, not the look. 
The Razer Death out of E2 Pro is a follow-up to the Razer Death out of E2 released earlier this year. That mouse crammed Razer's new Focus Plus optical sensor into its best-selling shell, creating a mouse that just worked. Underneath the scroll wheel are two recessed buttons that change the CPI settings by default. Out of the box, the Death out of V2 Pro can be connected to your PC with the included 6-foot Razer Speedflex cable with a braided cloth exterior that screams premium. Walking into another room in my apartment, the connection became a little spotty, but for those gaming in the living room, the Death out of V2 Pro will keep you covered. Razer touts up to 120 hours battery life without RGB lighting using the Bluetooth connection. The Death out of V2 Pro fits like a glove on normal to large size hands and performs like a champ. Playing first person shooters feels amazing. Number 1. Razer Viper Ultimate Best for FPS Gaming Like the original Viper, the Viper Ultimate is a high end take on the seemingly standardized esports mouse. It technically has eight buttons, two main left and right clickers scroll wheel, two macro buttons on each side, and a resolution switching button on the underside of the mouse, but the placement still shakes out to a simple five-button mouse scheme. The Viper Ultimate also shares the Viper's signature mechanical component, optical switches under the click panels. By Razer's estimation, the optical mouse switch eliminates some of the mechanical parts that wear out over time, making it more durable. The Razer Viper Ultimate has a great number of buttons, including two additional ones on each side. You can reprogram every button to whatever you like, even the scroll up and down. The Viper Ultimate connects to your PC using a 2.4 GHz RF dongle. The Viper Ultimate takes one of my favorite competitive mice and removes the wire without compromise. The Razer Viper Ultimate is excellent for FPS games. The click latency is amazing, and even competitive gamers shouldn't notice any delay. It's also quite light, even if it doesn't have a honeycomb pattern. Its performance is excellent, and it's pretty consistent, especially when moved at fast speed. Buying Guide Sensor Most gaming mice coming out today have great sensors. If you go get a reputable mouse, you're likely getting a flawless sensor. The best sensors excel at key things. Characteristics of a good sensor are accurate tracking, large DPI range, no acceleration, a fast pull rate, and more. Play Styles the gaming mouse requirements depend on the type of game that you play. Consequently, the game that you intend to play will determine the features that you consider the most important for your gaming mouse. For example, RTS and MMO gamers will require additional buttons that can be assigned to alternative functions and macros, compared to FPS gamers who focus on accuracy and quick tracking. DPI One of the main aspects that you'll see advertised for a mouse is DPI, or dots per inch, in the simplest terms, this is a figure that shows how far the mouse pointer will move for every inch that the mouse itself physically moves. Take a 4K display, for example, with a 3840 pixel width, you'd need to drag a 400 dpi mouse nearly 10 inches across your desk to move the pointer from the left edge to the right. How far for a 3000 dpi mouse? About an inch and a half. Polling Rate Another key spec you'll see reported for mice is the polling rate. This is a figure measured in hertz that shows how many times each second that mouse reports its position to the computer. A higher number means greater accuracy and smoother movement, at least in theory. The leap from 500 hertz to 1000 hertz may sound large, but in reality it's a move from 2 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. It's unlikely your eyes will even notice. <laughs>